Oh, right, right, right. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Salt Mines, where we watch people have mental breakdowns on StarCraft Ladder. Up here in the top left side, uh, representing Has H, it's Hong Kong Fooey saying, Good luck, have fun. I love Pig. Okie doke. We're starting this episode a little bit weird, then, I guess. Can I have. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a win for the promotion, bro? Could I have a win down to the bottom right, representing my clan? It is Great Oz who says, Nope, you have to earn it, buddy. Hong Kong Fooey says, okay, okay, KK, okay. good good luck, have fun. I'm Masters 3 on EU. Kratos says, good for you. I guess that doesn't count. Wait, 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 wait. So, because you, you deserve it because you're Masters 3, therefore you should get the promotion. I see flawless logic from Hong Kong Fooey. You must be new to SC2, don't you know? Obviously, guys, Hong Kong Fui is trying to explain the law, which was enacted in 2014, stating that if you are Masters 3 on EU and you ladder lower than that on the North American ladder, your opponents should give you the free win so you can reach the true rank that you belong at. And remember, check my profile, noob. As long as you show identification, uh, your opponent has to give you the win. This is in the law of StarCraft, enacted by Blizzard and enforced by the Blizzard police, for those who don't know. Uh, so it looks like Great Oz is just blatantly breaking the law against a proxy two gate forge all in. Um, it's really late. So you're meant to send one of your very first probes across the map at the very start to start this pylon as quickly as possible so that you can get this cannon rush and these zealots pumping much earlier. As it is, Hong Kong Fui's forge is already finished. You're meant to already be starting a cannon right now. Hong Kong Fui is doing the worst execution of this build I've ever seen and playing at 50 APM. I'm starting to wonder if they're really Masters 3. For those who don't know, this is my all-in of choice when I play mouse only. I've beaten multiple Grandmaster players, uh, including 5,500 MMR players who are like mid to high GM with mouse only. And it's always involving this build because with this build, it's basically the easiest build in the entire world to execute. Unless you come in a minute late to start the cannon rush and then get supply blocked on 22, which means, guess what? Only three zealots get out. They're not even rallied from the gateways. There's no control group for the army and now starts a pylon at home. Hong Kong Fui. I, I don't know what league Great Oz is at, but Great Oz seems to be doing things half decently. Uh, Hong Kong Fui, on the other hand, seems like a drunk silver leaguer. This is not high level StarCraft at all. Yet they know who I am and they know the clan tag. GG, I'll give you win. I got to go. <laughs> I gotta go. Why are people like this? Why are people like this? You're behind. Way by it's as great as. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just busy. Good, good game, though. I'll give you the win, but um, I'm just busy. The probes actually surround the Reaper Alien, funnily enough. <laughs> That's not giving the win. Giving the win is where you, you let the units just stand there and die. Okay, he's going to go for the cannon rush. Oh, my God. This is the dumbest shiz I have ever seen, man. SCVs get that to repair. They will easily repair this bad boy up. Um, unfortunately for Great Oz, those Marines are kind of blocked by the SCVs, but I think they'll pop here. Yeah. Okay, thank God they didn't pop on the outside of the wall. Marines are inside the bunker, cannons are trying to build, but of course, uh, the Marines in that bunker. It's a turkey shoot. Hong Kong Fui's gonna tap out. Says GG for the second or third time. I guess you can't give a win away. Why would anyone give a win? There's people in every game that do this. They're like, oh, I almost have a promotion. Please give it to me. And I'm like, I mean, do you not understand that you haven't earned it and it's meaningless if you don't get it? Like, no, but I just need the one win. It's like, then get one more win. It's not that hard, mate. <laughs> People have a really weird uh, relationship with promotions in video games where they, they don't seem to understand that they're based off of skill. No promotion for me. Typical Terran, says Hong Kong. Fooey! Cannon goes down. Command center is floating down. All right. So, yeah, typical Terran. Um, for those who don't know, Terran players are known for being basically the uh, MMR grubbers of StarCraft 2. Their whole thing is based around... Oh, he must have just paused. That's how all those messages came down at once. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, I will. You're probably in... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. And they're going crazy. Oh, okay. Can't give one win up because you're a... Okay, for some homophobia coming in. A Fajo ass Terran. Fajo ass mother trucker. 
Oh, and look, they paused again. There's actually so much chat. I can't read it all, guys. It's it's going off the, the screen. One second. Oh my god! Okay, this is insane. Uh, there is so much chatter that we just missed, guys. I hope you effing die, says Hong Kong Fooey. Gredo says, thanks for the insults, man. Make us for some great screenshots. That's why you follow pig, says Hong Kong Fooey. Lol, suck my dick, bitch. Gredos is like, uh, funnily enough, your TVP is my worst matchup, and no, no, thank you, I won't, I won't be sucking on that. Hong Kong Fooey says, yeah, screen shoot it. Tongue face. You might want to frame it up. In your room for sure. Wait, wait. Are they saying frame up that that TVP is their worst matchup? Oh no, no, they're talking about the insults. Oh, the, the screenshots of the insults. Okay. In your room for Joe boy. Fajo boy. Very nice. Okay, so homo that's where the homophobia starts. Great Oz says, "Yep, I will. I'll frame it up. No worries. You're probably into it. Typical Terran shit, I guess. Pig, you're a fucking pig. Oh, this guy's insulting me because he knew it would get into the show. That's that's fun. That's the first time. Hello. There's meta insults. They're, they're salty at me." As well, not just the players they're playing against. Hi, Hong Kong Fui. Congrats, mate. Idiot. Uh, I'm on my promotion match for Joe. Well, it's not your promotion match because you, 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 you threw it by instead of focusing on playing the game by begging for wins, dummy. Uh, Fajo boy, how does it feel to be a Fajo piece of shit every day? Wake up and be you. I'm, cur I'm curious. I'm curious. You must feel like shit every day. Says the guy who's saying this crap. Great. I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm the one with the sad life here, mate. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. You can't give one win up because you're a visual ass Terran. You visual ass mother trucker. You're a deserver to be cheesed. Said thing is if we macro. Okay, the sad. Okay, I'm gonna translate incoherent rambling here, guys. The sad thing is if we macro. I won you. I own you. <laughs> if we macro. Fucking noob. I think if you think you win, play it out. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is this where we're up to? No, no, no. We're, we're, we're even past this. We're even past this. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, this is so funny. Prove it. Yeah, he's like, you're. What was this? Oh my god, where were we up to? Yeah, if you think you'll win, play it out. Prove it. At least someone can tell you about yourself today. I'm glad I could do that, bitch. Wow, this will make a great salt mines video. I'm in Masters 3 EU. This is gonna make a salt, great salt mines video. Let's go to EU. You're not even in my MMR range. Th that's that's why I cheesed. You're new. You wouldn't understand. I I don't know if you guys. Is it just me? Am I over reading into this? But I feel like I can hear the tears in Hong Kong Fui's typing, and that is bizarre. It's the first time I've actually. <laughs> Heard the tears in someone's eyes in the way they're typing. That's amazing. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about. Laugh my ass off. I, I don't know. You can't just say LMAO when you're clearly crying, mate. GG, well played. Noob. But what? So you, you're, you're clearly crying, then you're laughing, then you're congratulating, then you're insulting. This makes, I mean, this is just the the, the, the absolute emotional roller coaster of being a crazy person on the ladder. You held a cheese. Then you should be able to hold. Nice. Well done. Hope you hit Masters 3. Well, to be fair, if you executed the push correctly at all, it's actually incredibly hard for Terran to stop and a good chance that, no, uh, Great Oz wouldn't have held it. But you're useless at this game, Hong Kong Fui. Uh, I'm mad because I've been trying uh, and failing. I got a macro and it's boring. Okay, yeah, so you're truly Masters 3, but you, you just can't get promoted. But it, it, it's because macro is boring. It's boring as fuck. I've got to learn to cheese better. Fuck NA server. I'll just stay in EU. People over here, they're all like you. They're like you. I, I give wins away all the time. Nice. Absolute insanity. So that's, you tell Hong Kong Fu was pausing to try and like just distract and annoy them. That's why there's all that chat came down to the point where it can't all fit on one screen. We can now resume this game. And uh, Great Oz is still just trying to play the StarCraft game. I gotta say, criticism of Great Oz, zero scouting. But when you get rushed like this and you're going for a Reaper scout, fair enough. And now you're rebuilding probes, really? Why? It's it's boring to macro, but it's not boring to stay in a game and waste people's time, including your own. God, <laughs> some people are so sad. And then they leave. And then they, wow, that was, that was a real journey, guys. That was... I don't know what happened. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, well, that was bizarre. 
But let's go and delve through the mines because I'm sure there's some more salty nuggets out there waiting for us. Up here in the top left side, guys, we've got the red player, Joe Black, saying good luck, have fun. Oh my god, are they playing against Andrew Tate? Playing from Romanian prison down in the bottom right side of the map in the blue, it suffers, saying, We live in the Matrix, bro, this is insane. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is it? Is it? I right, guys, this is. I. I. I'm already planning a little bit of a mini game, which is, uh, is this, actually Andrew Tate or one of his disciples? We're gonna find out as this goes on, or are they simply a big fan, of Keanu Reeves and, uh, and the Wachowskis? Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Looks like a two barracks proxy uh, coming in from Joe Black. So a very aggressive opening. Suffers chronoed into a supply block at the gateway. Time to wake up, Neo! Oh my god, I like it. Okay, so I like that we're going more of a Matrix vein. Be funny though if Suffers is just like... It, no, no, okay, okay, good. Fair. Okay, we're going... It, it looks like two points now. It just says time. Time to wake up. Um, Maybe there is a... There's no woman in a red dress on the street, Suffers. But there is a, a Terran. There's a, a Terran with the red barracks outside your base. And I gotta say, it's gonna be just as jolting an ex experience as stepping into the Matrix for the first time, my friend. This, or at least knowingly doing so. Uh, yeah, this is Cybercore, chronoing probes again, building pylons. I mean, it's not the worst opening for Suffers, but zero scouting, man. It's crazy to me that so many people in StarCraft just don't work a scout. And they're like, well, what would I look for? Pig, that's always the number one response I get. And I'm like, well, if you scout and they don't have any buildings in their base, it means they built them outside your base and you should probably make a bunch of things that stab and shoot really quick or you're going to lose the game. People look at me like with a blank expression on their face. They're like, no! And I'm like, what? Like, pro gamers don't do it that much. I am a robot. I copy people. All right, so Suffers sees the bunker. Uh, you know, we can pull our probes and hold this off, right? We're going to only pull one. And the SCV simply moves, and oh my god, oh my god, seriously? Suffers, you're not gonna react? You're gonna pull three probes now? Three? He's building a bunker inside your main base, Suffers! This is the worst, oh my lord. And no battery started, no second stalker building. And now we're gonna build zealots? Oh, more stalkers, please. More st and now you're microing a stalker, you know that has the same range as the bunker. Oh, Suffers doesn't know the bunker has the same range as the stalker. Those that don't know, Marines have the same, have one less range than a Stalker, but the Bunker gives plus one range to all units inside it. A Marauder in a Bunker has seven range. Um, and we're just going to do nothing. Suffers with 900 minerals, decides to run the Stalker back in range. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why you're so trash and you cheese, mate? On unranked games. A lot of people don't know unranked and ranked is the exact same ladder. Uh, the only difference is unranked is basically putting a blindfold over you because you can't see your own ranking. Pathetic noob! Joe Black says, Neo, this is Morpheus. If we play a hundred times, I win you a hundred and one. Well, you might say that's mathematically impossible, but remember, Suffers is in the Matrix and there is no spoon. Good point, Suffers. Good point. All right, well, let's keep it going, guys. These are these are short but sweet snacks today, aren't they? Some delicious treats. Up here in the top left, we've got Tosses Scum. In the bottom right, we have Walosh. Walosh. Sending two probes out. Are we counting kind of rushing? What's going on? What the hell? What is this? What is this, Walosh? Okay, so Walosh is going for some sort of bizarre rush. I think it's one is pretending to scout and one is going to secretly proxy gate or cannon rush. Something very dirty is going to come out. But man, I really do love that, you know? That whole Matrix uh, back and forth and then saying, you know, if we play a hundred times, I'll beat you a hundred and one times. It's fantastic as well because that's like, there, there is a broad spectrum of players on the ladder. They get angry at dying to quote unquote cheese. And if they literally just did this, this is, the, this is the trick you guys do to defending rushes like that one. You box and then you, you press A for attack and you click on the ground. And I guarantee you, you hold that push until like Platinum League. You don't need to do anything else except A move your workers and you'll be fine. It's wild, man. Oh, look at that. 
Wait, 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 wait. So they, they Tosser's scum tricked, tricked them, got the hatchery down. That probe has been sitting in vision the whole time. Walosh is trying to be sneaky and hide, but literally the Overlord can see the probe. This is the worst cannon rush of all time. Walosh, you even saw the Overlord there. What are you doing? Even loses the drone in the main, right? Where'd it go? We did it? Oh, no, no, it ran away. Never mind. But wait, wait, it's right there, dude. Wait, wait, are you going to take a third base? You know he's cannoning you in your face. In vision. It's in vision. Well, he's building two gateways there. One gateway at home. Forge is now finished. Tosser Scum is just going to not find it. Pulling drones also shuts this down pretty easily. For some reason, no cannons going down. There we go. Okay, cannon there. Can you fit a cannon there too? Just waiting for 150 minerals. Looks like a drone's going to go across the map. One base or Ravager is going to be the answer, which is actually not too bad. One of the gateways does get cancelled. You know what's funny is... uh, What? You're going to cancel everything? No, what? What? Okay, uh, Tosser's Scum has forgotten to put on gas and is building a spine crawler, which is entirely unnecessary right now. Also, is forgo forgetting to build a queen or more drones and is building a proxy hatch. So we're going to see Proxy Ravager go across the map while Losh having cancelled the entire cannon rush as if not leave at least just one cannon there because now he could just retake that base. And we're going to proxy on the left side. This is, this is bloody gold league heroes if I've ever seen it, guys. Um, not really. This is actually probably, I would guess, Diamond 3. Uh, or maybe Platinum 2, something like that. Hard to say exactly. Not that much interaction between the players just yet, but the cannon goes up at home. Double gas is mining. Walosh is probing up. Is up two workers. Queen is building, and Roach is coming out. The thing is, you don't really need Roaches, because he, he cancelled his cannon rush. But remember, guys, flexibility is something that I often take for granted in StarCraft games. I watch Hero all day. I watch Dark all day. And those guys are kings of flexibility. Uh, I should probably remember Average Joe's on the ladder not quite having that same level. Are we going to see... Oh, we're going to see DTs. We're going to see DTs, aren't we? Roach is moving out across the map. If there's no Lair or Spork Roll, I mean, DTs could be an absolute game winner. Queen's going to build on the front. Tosser's Scum, for some reason, is going back to droning and built the Roaches there. I don't know why not just build the Roaches from the front. Start sieging this down. There's only one Stalker on the way. There's not much defense. Robo as well. Interesting. Probe is over on that side of the map. Drone's going to come back down. Toss of Scum realizing, wait, I can just take a hatchery and drone up. Do a little four Ravager pressure, see if you get some damage. But for some reason, there's a drone here as well, which is very interesting. Oh my god. Notice, guys, interesting for uh, confusing. We're going to see a DT shrine, aren't we? Waiting for 150 gas. Yeah, you know it. You know it. We're going to see DTs. Dirty boy Walosh. Puts on, oh, but Tosser's Scum is both expanding at home, droning, and also now building spines on the front. So Tosser's Scum is kind of doing a bit of everything at once. Oh, careful with those Ravages, man. And DT Shrine goes down as expected. Warp Gate's almost ready. Stalker on the high ground there. The Overlord needs to move just a little further north, and that should be fine. The Ravages need to actually fight. Okay, the Stalker will go down. Oh my god, if they depower the gateways, then this is actually game over. If all the gateways get depowered, that's a big problem. The Ravagers can kill these Stalkers while they're warping in, but Tosser Scum not moving up there. Could have had four Ravagers hitting those Stalkers as they warped in. Still winning the fight. But a Cannon is going to finish behind it. Cannon will do good damage. It's got an extra pylon behind it, backing it up. Still one gateway is powered. DT Shrine's almost ready. The Dark Shrine is almost ready, guys. Ravagers dancing in and out. Tosser Scum is not macroing behind this, but I worry about those DTs, because remember, there's a pylon in the natural of Tosser Scum. The Zerg player could just get wiped out. There's three Stalkers here. More cannons trying to build. I don't think Walosh has played this game in Legacy of the Void much because they don't seem to know what the shield battery is. A battery here, especially with Nexus Overcharge, could be game-changing. Dark Shrine's about to finish. Uh-oh. You gotta watch out, mate. DTs are gonna be coming any moment now. One gateway does fall. The Ravager's still being annoying here. And we're trying to drone up. Spore Crawlers are going down, actually, interestingly, which means there will be detection. There's just no actual fighting units right now. Where is that Dark Templar warping in? It looks like at home. Oh, he warps in the DT at home. Now, you could build a Spore here and probably hold on to this position. Stalkers are running into the Spines and the Ravages. Spore Crawler does go down. The air starts as well. Tosser's Scum might actually be able to keep uh, control of this contain if the Spore doesn't get focused. Actually, the DTs might just kill the Spines in time anyway. Their damage is insane. And Tosser's Scum is doubling down on it. Oh, no. You don't want to double down in this position. Just give it up and fall home. You've already forced the DTs to be defensive rather than offensive. 
which is a huge, huge victory. 29 drones versus 22 does cancel and goes back. And yeah, it's a massive advantage for Tossers. If Tossers just makes a bunch of roaches and stuff, should be good. Queen can beat the DT, but that DT will move out of Spore Crawler range. This is Tossers' scum vision. Notice when it moves to the right, it's about to go out of vision. And you can't see it anymore. There we go. Okay, Queen does pull back. Drones are going to help. And Citizen's Arrest. No. Oh, oh, that DT is a cheeky bugger. Barely survives, gets one more drone. Excuse me, guys. Just a little bit of a coffee cough there. And it looks like a Warp Prism's going forward. There's going to be DTs going in the main. I mean, the thing is that there's two bases up. Tosser Scum should be way ahead, but is massively supply blocked right now. Just needs to be building more Overlords, really. I mean, you build more Overlords, you make more units, you're fine. But there's DTs in the main base. Overseer has not been made. There's a lot of army out right now. Roaches, Lings, and an Overlord. DTs. Oh my god, are you going to pick that up in, on the high ground? Well, Lush is going to ferry it up. Oh my god. Four DTs in the main, guys. Two walking across the map. This drone running around the map. He's going to go past those DTs. He's going to wait for even more. He's going to snipe the lair. If you snipe the lair and the Zerg doesn't make an Overseer quickly enough, then they can't make Overseers anymore. Oh, well, Losh. This is the dirtiest shiz ever. Oh, man. Oh, this is so dirty. Seven Dark Templar. He's going to go with the Spore Crawler first, actually. Oh, no. Morph Overseer right now. Overseer. Overseers. Overseers. Okay, Overseer morphs, but the lair's going to go down. Um, You know, the Protoss is still one base, so Zerg's still completely fine here. They're still completely fine. Yep, as long as they just keep building roaches and fighting this. Like, look at that. If they kill these DTs, they'll be big, but they move command past. Bad micro from the Zerg lets an extra bunch of DTs escape. Still getting so many kills. This is actually perfectly fine. Zerg is so far ahead right now. So all Tosser Scum needs to do is build a hatchery, build a third, build a fourth, take a few more bases, and, and you can't really lose this game um, unless you just don't build army. Because you're at double the work account, and there's, what, two Archons, two Stalkers, and now three Adepts? Oh, Tosser Scum doesn't get vision back in the main, though. No Overlords over there. And there's only six Roaches and a Ravager. Not building more Roaches right now. He's trying to build three Hatcheries, two Overlords, and a Baneling Nest. You need more Roaches. You need to build army. Oh my god, Tosser Scum is just not building army right now. What are you doing? Just build Roaches. You've got this. It's in the bag. Now you start three roaches. Oh, and all the lava here doesn't get selected because the hatchery died, which means the lava doesn't get selected. So there's idle lava. You could be putting three more roaches. Oh no, broken shit. You're still winning. You're still ahead in this game. Even at this point, you are like objectively ahead. These Archons are very low. Move the spine crawler over. You've got two other bases coming up. But of course, Tosser's scum breaking under the pressure says, broken shit. It's in the name, says Walosh. We're scum. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> that is the Zerg player's name. Unskill retarders get easy when <laughs> you scum. <laughs> well, right. You tried. All and all players on you race also scum. Uh, I like broken English insults. They're fun. Uh, GG, well played. Walosh, by the way, you do play really dirty, and you're gonna get a lot of rage playing like this, because cannon rushes into, like, proxy DTs, like, let's be real, these are some of the more frustrating plays to play against. I'm kind of, I'm, you know, I'm not, this is not that ridiculous compared to the other players today so far. Alright guys, well, down here in the bottom left side, we've got Mellow in our next game. It's gonna be a Zerg versus Protoss again! Up here in the top right, not building a worker. They appear to be AFK. It's Two-Face. Oh, no. No, they've got APM. Okay, so they... They started the probe uh, about 13 seconds after the game starts. And they're going to chrono before pylon. This is the second Protoss I've seen chrono boost before building a pylon today, guys. What is wrong with these players? Build a pylon! You're wait, wait, wait. Where's the pylon? Oh, they did. I'm blind. Never mind, guys. Shh, shh. I'm... I... It's a big map, and I'm getting old. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, I guess they sent the probe down earlier than I realized, but they just didn't start the probe yet. So maybe that was like a 13 or 12 pilot? I don't know. So, how's things? Mellow trying to get some chit-chat going in the early game. Interesting. 
Looks like hatch first build order. Excuse me, guys. Oh. You know when you got a little tickle in your throat? You're not like sick or anything, you just got like, it's like a little tickle. Ooh. Looks like a Nexus going down. Okay, not too bad. It's an 18 Nexus. It's it's definitely a bit awkward, but yeah. Uh, so we've got Nexus, gas. That's weird. Gate, Nexus, gas. It's kind of like the old parting PVT build. Interesting. Second piling up in the main base as well. Sporting pool goes down for Mellow. Now this is altitude. It's a very big map. Already we can point out Two-Face does have a pylon in the wall, which of course is incredibly vulnerable to getting busted later on. And a second gateway goes down. Oh me, oh my. That there is what we... There's, there's choke points, guys, and then there's gaping abysses. This here is a gaping abyss. This is a gash. This is a, a goddamn chasm. You can fit seven zerglings abreast through that choke point. Uh, and therefore, it is not a choke point. So hopefully that does get closed off at some point by Two-Face. Uh, just by putting a pylon over here, we'll create a nice little choke. But uh, otherwise, it's going to be a bit of an issue, as Mellow could literally run Zerglings in at any point. Six Lings, two Queens, and Ling Speed on the way. Pretty quick Ling Speed as well. Not pulling off gas just yet. Mellow just macroing on up. We've got a second gas going up in the main base. Zealot does start. And uh, interestingly, a second and third gas already. Two-Face strikes me as a Sky Toss player. Like, look at look at this zealot in the choke point, guys. He's like, yeah, I'm totally walling off. This is a this is a good wall off. I, my favorite thing is like, obviously, I've played and watched too much Starcraft to the point where I can kind of see things, if not pixel perfect, pretty damn close to. And then I see stuff like this, and like I've come across so many players who are like, yeah, that's a wall, and I'm like, look at the replay. And they're like, yep. And I'm like, what's wrong with the wall? And they stare at this, and they're like. Looks, looks pretty good. And I'm like, really? <laughs> okay, this player realizes it takes two zealots to all off with this dumb joke point. And apparently they set it off okay, so fair enough. Uh, Sentry's gonna pop out as well. If you lose that pylon, that's really dumb, mate. And you get a shield battery, so easy hold for Two-Face. The Zerglings all get cleaned up. No, don't wall yourself out. It needs to go to the left. <laughs> Two-Face, what are you doing, mate? And Mellow's just rallying Zerglings. This has to be the sloppiest Zergling all-in I've seen in a while, but the thing is, there's no ranged units. It's all Zealots that can't attack across the wall. And Two-Face's wall-off abilities seem to be rather limited, if I don't say, if I, if I dare to say so myself. Stalkers are now building the Zealots. That's not a wall-off. Wall-off with more pylons. Oh my god, no force field either. Oh my god. The Zealots are actually killing a lot of Zerglings as they run past, but Mellow just clicks right in the main and is like, YOLO! Mellow, a thousand minerals in the bank behind this, and uh, the Lings are going to get one or two probes, but the Zealots are cleaning them up, man. These Zealots, that, that one gets five kills before it goes down, five kills and three kills on the other two Zealots, but just no wall off. All you need to do is full wall here, bring a probe, and you've got it in the bag. Mellow decides to run away. Mellow with one track mind right now, guys. Zergs only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Mellow also did no injects behind this as well. Oh, me, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, a skirmish, I guess. Uh, Protoss should be on top after that. Looks like the Overlord will go down, but it, it might be a bit of a magnet. Pulls the army out of position. The Zerglings could go back in and try to take down the wall, but Mellow's going to chill out for now and uh, take a breath. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. N-word hard R alert. Remember, guys, if you attack your opponent, uh, then, you know, without them wanting you to attack them, uh, without warning, that's... It, you, I mean, you've got it coming. They're going to call you any any racial slurs they feel like. That's just how the world of gaming works, don't you know? Um, it's always funny because I do occasionally get the comment, people like, wow, I didn't realize StarCraft was such a toxic game. And I'm like, guys, this is like the, the very minority of the minority. If you go in any other game and StarCraft is like a goddamn oasis, it's a paradise. I mean, it's the same thing if you look in an anonymous, like, comment section of, like, a bloody news website, you know? There, there's, like, a comment section on, an, on a political article. There's people saying crazy shit. It's just what, what, unfortunately, humans do when they're anonymous. What's wrong, says Melo? F you subhuman n-word. What the hell? Mate. Mate. I, to be fair, it doesn't surprise me that it's the, uh... Oh my god! You're so bad! Oh my god, Mellow says why? 
Wow! Well, maybe if you weren't so busy complaining, you would have been able to, I don't know, drop a pylon, drop a force field, do anything to not just let him walk into your base, idiot. Mellow's just like, what What did I do, bro? What did I do? I think Mellow's having way too much fun just uh, getting this salt out. The funny thing is Mellow could still die because Mellow has not done too much behind this. He's getting up to four hatcheries, but desperately needs a few more of those to keep this going. The Nexus gets low, but it's not going to die, man. And uh, this is why this is still completely playable. But as always, what do we see a lot of in the salt mines is people fall apart mentally. This army got stuck outside, by the way, so they ran down here trying to get back into the main. Um, still, Two-Face is not figured out. If you put a pile on there, at the very least, it'll be a, a narrower choke point. This is wild, man. A slow Zealots, a Sentry, and two Stalkers at the seven-minute mark. Of four gateways and way too much gas. I mean, this barely looks like someone even playing StarCraft. It, it yeah. They didn't say much earlier, did they? Their name's Two-Face. Do you guys think maybe they start off as the crazy racist and then they become really nice? They're like, oh, I'm really sorry, man. I didn't mean it. And I was just, uh, I was looking for the, the most hateful words I could find. And I just, just to get a reaction and, and, and reflect my own ego death, you know, onto you to try and distract from my own pain. And I, I'm really sorry, man. I really didn't mean it. I take it back. Uh, I think I might be hoping for a bit too much in this case. Queens are fighting versus the Zealots. Uh, Guardian Shield destroys Queens, man. They take, they do so little damage. But the Zerglings come in while the Queens are tanking, and Zerglings do very high damage. The Queens will defend those Zealots. Let's go! Sentry and two Stalkers over at that base. Zergling's gonna get a nice little turn. Easy to win! When, when, you spawn with map control, huh? You effing piece of shit, N-word. Wow! So, he won because of the map control, because they, because Zergs because their, their units are far- I get it, because their units are faster. They spawn with map- yeah, wow. Uh, once again, great insights from uh, the absolute morons uh, on the ladder who don't like losing and don't know how to build a wall off. I said at the very start, this is not a wall off. Player died to- Zerglings could run in. Zerglings ran in, but remember, it's because Zerg's overpowered, not because you don't know how to bloody build a wall. Good salt mining, bro. Bit ahead of yourself, Mello. Little bit ahead of yourself. I don't like this cocky shit, guys. None of this- None of this cocky. I, I get, remove this from the episode. No, whatever. It already made it in. GG, well played. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Salt Mines. If you guys enjoy weird, crazy, salty interactions, check out one of the other games on screen. And don't forget as well, send me in your examples of just weird, crazy interactions you have with angry people on the internet. And it might make it into the show. A big thanks to everyone who's been supporting the Patreon. You guys know who you are. Guys, girls, ladies, gents, zealots, surgeons, marines. Thank you very much. Everyone here on the Wall of Bacon. Everyone who's supported past, present, and future. A special thanks to Jacob G and Maxan. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Goodbye and good night. Pew, pew.